Hunter guys, Daniel here. So, um, how do you call it? Apple uh, this week launched their top apps for 2014. So apps you should have downloaded onto your iPad or iPhone. Um, well, what they think you should have downloaded this year and what they think is the top, is the top apps. So I decided to make my own list of apps uh, that for the iPhone and iPad you should have uh, downloaded from the App Store. Now some of the apps were already chosen by Apple so I had no choice but to copy it but others ha weren't chosen so these are my list that I think you should have downloaded and that I use uh, that I used this year on my iPhone a lot. So my first one is uh, Swipe. Swipe is a keyboard for iOS 8. When Apple this year released iOS 8, they released uh, um, they allowed third party keyboards to come into the operating system and bring in third party keyboards to the iPhone. So, Swipe, of course, you could type on Swipe or you could swipe on the keyboard to uh, type faster, which I enjoy. It's one of the apps that you should have downloaded this year. It's fun, it's easy to use, and the only thing is that I, I wish they brought in more, um, how do you call it, more themes to the, uh, to the iPhone. Uh, next one is Hyperlapse. Now Hyperlapse is part of Instagram. It was made by Instagram. Well, I guess not really part of Instagram, but it was made by Instagram. Um, it of course makes Hyperlapse videos using the iPhone's uh, camera gyroscope. And it's a fun camera, and if you haven't downloaded or check it out, you should check it out. It's called Hyperlapse. Don't worry, guys. Everything will be in the description below. Uh, the list will be there, so you guys can check it out later. Um, the other one is called Authentic. Authentic is a fun weather app uh, for iOS. Um, it gives a take. It gives weather. It gives the weather to you in a different way than. Uh, than most weather apps. It kind of like, you should just check it out. Authentic. I think if I say the words here, I think the video might uh, get a, how do you call it? Um, offensive a little bit. So yeah, guys, check it out. Authentic It's fun weather app. Uh, yeah, you'll like it, I think. Um, the other one is Living Earth. Living Earth is a uh, Kind of like a weather app kind of style, but you could check the earth. Um, I think it's real time. I'm pretty sure it's real time where you could check it in day, night, and check out like how it looks when it's cold at night, uh, the, the earth, or how it looks when it's warm, um, cloudy, temperature, everything. And of course, it gives you the weather, and uh, it's fun. And then, and the widget for uh, that app is is it's fun too. It's simple and it gives you the, all the information you need. Uh, let's see, Storehouse. Yeah, Storehouse is a photography app where well, not really photography, but a photo app where you get to share videos and photos of um, but in stories. So you get to post photos if you want and write stories on it. It was a fun app. It's still a fun app, of course. And yeah, you guys should check it out if you're into photography and video and stories. It's a, perf it's a great place to post your uh, work there. Or photos, I guess. Um, the sixth one is Fantastical. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Fantastical, it's um, a calendar app, uh, which looks amazing now with iOS 8 on it. And the whole redesign that they did to it. Um, it integrates well with the I I only downloaded because I like the theme of it. I liked how it looked. Um, it was uh fun, colorful. You get to change the color from white to black, from black to white. Um, what else? And it's just all the gestures you get to do with it is fun. It's a fun calendar app. You check it out. Now the next one is um, Overcast. Overcast is a podcast app is for listening to podcasts if you are into that like I am um, if you're listening to a lot of um, a podcast I like to hear it's called startup I'm hearing that R reply all is another one and I'm gonna get into serial I'm gonna start listening to that uh, podcast l later on but yeah overcast 
It's a fun podcast app. It's perfect for listening to podcasts, finding podcasts. It's easy to use, free to use, free to download. And yeah. Um, the next one is Product Hunt. Now, Product Hunt is my favorite one. If you're into technology, geek stuff, tech, this is the app you should download right now. Uh, you get to find the next big thing kind of every day is different. So one day it could be a crazy calendar app. The next day it could be a crazy photo app that's the top. It's like a Reddit kind of style. It has the upvote and all that stuff. So you get to vote for which app or which uh, uh, programs you, you like uh, that day. Um, what else? Okay, so my ninth app is called Clear. Uh, Clear is a great productivity app. Um, it's like a list. You get to make a list and then it just makes it easy to clear your day through. So clears all that clutter throughout the day. It's a fun app. I just like it because it's simple to use and it reminds me uh, what's, what stuff I had to do that day. Uh, my next one is BuzzFeed. Now BuzzFeed, I, I got into BuzzFeed more this year um, and I used their app a lot to check out of course all the news that's going on and all the articles that they have and of course I like their widget on iOS 8. So yeah, uh, go check them out or go check it out. Um, my 11th app is called Mint. Now Mint is uh, kind of like a banking app, uh, money app. So it, it you get to, of course, see your money, gives you tips to saving your money. Uh, it's great, I use it a lot to save my money and to manage my money how I use it. Uh, yeah, it's free and I hope it's safe, the app. Um, let's see. Mail to Sell. Mail to Self is a great uh, app. It's an extension for iOS 8. Um, you get to, like, if you have an article you're, you're reading on your iPhone, you get to uh, just bring out the extension on the iPhone and click Mail to Save, and it'll send you the link to your email so you can read it later on your iPhone or on your desktop or whatever. You, you want to read it, plus I send you the link and everything on, to your email so you have it. Um, clips. Clips is a great app to have. It is a great copy and paste app uh, for the iPhone um, and iPad or whatever. And it's, it has an amazing extension. I use it a lot when I'm logging on the iPhone or iPad. Um, it's fun. It's easy to use. And it will save you so much time if you uh, check if you use this app. So check it out, guys. Scott Clips. And my 14 and last app is called uh, My Fitness Pal. Now My Fitness Pal, I started using this really late throughout the year. I think in October I used it or something. I started to use it. Um, it just helps you if you're into checking out like your diet and every day. Like if you want to gain weight, lose weight. Uh, it's a great app. It gives and it. It has a lot of the app. It has a lot of the food that you're looking for. It still needs some work uh, on the app, but it does the job good. It's simple to use, easy to use. You can check your weight gain, uh, check food, calories, all the information you want to know about your diet. Now, I said that was the last app that um, that I had, but of course now there are gaming apps, and I only have one gaming app, and that's the Game of Thrones from Telltale. Um, I have something to say. Okay, um, so yeah, I only have I only play one game, and that's the Game of Thrones game that came out this week only uh, for iOS eight. I downloaded for that. I bought it, and yeah, so that's it. If you guys don't worry, guys, all the apps I just mentioned will be in the description below, so don't worry about it, and. Yeah, so remember to follow me at I Daniel Roman and remember to subscribe to the channel to keep up with me and keep up with the channel. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.